All right, Texas Tech fresh off of their 49-14 win over New Mexico here this evening. A couple of the offensive stars joining me outside Jones ATT Stadium, Seth Deggy, Eric Ward. Guys, before we talk about your individual performances, Seth, I'll start with you, 702 total yards of offense tonight. Just talk about the rhythm that you guys are on right now. You know, we, we started out really fast. That's something that we've been preaching. Uh, we've been trying to, uh, to implement in practice. Um, and I think the guys did a really good job of, of focusing and being prepared, and coming out excited to play. And that's just, and that's, I think having a, a good first drive just gets you in such a good rhythm to, uh, to finish out the half or what, a quarter, whatever it may be. Um, and, and that's what we did. You know, we got in a rhythm and, and we were hard to stop. Middle of the field for Eric Ward. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Six touchdowns on the night for you, your first three of which to a guy, Eric Ward here. Eric, just talk about the relationship between you two on the field. I mean, it, it, you almost, you think of it, Harold a Crabtree. I mean, it, just talk about the, the rapport you guys have on the field right now. I mean, we have a lot of chemistry starting back in the scout team days, so I just know if I run my heart, my, my, my route as hard as I can and just expect the ball, it'll be there because he has so so good accuracy. I just know where it's going to be. Seth Deggy threw a rope. Picking up right where you left off last year. We didn't see a lot of you in fall camp. How healthy are you? Do you obviously, you feel pretty good. Yeah, I'm 100% now. I mean, I, I had to bounce back from last week. It was kind of hard watching my – my teammates go out there and lay a, a whooping on Texas State. I mean, I had to cut the game off. I was anticipating to get back out there, though. On a, on a team with so many great receivers and so many great weapons on offense, what is it about Eric that uh, makes him stand out on nights like tonight? You know, he's just he's one of those guys that wants to be the best. I and mean, I think he practices that way, and he definitely plays that way. If you, if you got to see him see him on field when he wasn't getting the ball, you'd be very impressed just of how he blocks and how he, you know, his effort. But uh, he's very dy dynamic in his route running ability. And, and he, he makes plays, and that's as a quarterback. When you trust a guy like that, you know it just makes it that much more uh, comfortable to you know to be on the same page. When you got you go out in front of 65,000 and know this guy is going to get open, regardless of the coverage or what it might be. Another dominating performance for you guys this evening. Uh, talk a little bit about how, how, what is the confidence level of this team right now? I mean, I think we're very confident because we have debt at every position. So I know if someone goes down, it's just an opportunity for someone else to step up, and we got the talent level to do that. So I mean. Confidence is there. Eric Stevens with 118 yards tonight. How, his first 100-yard game since the knee injury against A&M. How good was it to see him get back out there as well? Yeah, he's running hard, hitting holes hard, uh, making dynamic cuts, and, and that's just you know just Eric. I wouldn't, you know, a lot, a lot of guys, you know, a lot of people question his uh, his ability to play still, but at the same time, you know, he's Eric Stevens, and, and, and all of his teammates know that he's gonna he's gonna be a, a, a big player for us. Um, and it, it, and I think the, the rushing yards and all that stuff is great. I think those guys ran the ball hard, but I think a lot of the credit goes to the offensive line and how well they played tonight. I tell you guys to both relax, but you've probably been relaxing since about the beginning of the second quarter here. Congratulations on a great night, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.